I miss the food at home. I miss my friends and my family. I miss the surroundings. I miss home. There is indeed no place like home. I know your feelings. If you wish that you could return to the environment that you're mostly familiar with, if you wish to be surrounded by the people or your family you trust most, this type of feelings are perfectly valid and normal. If you are someone who study, work, or live somewhere different from where you were born or you grew up. It's absolutely normal. There's no need to feel ashamed of the feelings. I'm with you. What's interesting today is, apart from the feelings we're having, I have gone through a few articles explaining the sciences behind homesickness, and one very interesting article from the Duke of Magazine caught my attention. I think, according to this article, it suggests that from an evolution perspective. Human beings ended up having this homesickness feelings in order to survive. What does that mean? So think about those, you know, ancient times when human beings still live in the cave, and that cave might be constantly surrounded by wildlife threats from lions, elephants, antelopes, whatever. The question is that how did human beings defend themselves? We, unlike lions, we don't have fangs, we don't have sharp teeth, we're not birds, we ca we cannot fly, we're not like the we're not jaguars, we we cannot run fast either. So the only thing we have got left is probably number, and I mean by that in a way that we stick together, we look out for each other, so we survive. In the numbers game, we look out for each other to hunt for food. We look out for each other to share family duty. We look out for each other when it comes to defense. That's how we survived. If you happen to be that individual left out, what do you think of the chances to survive? Probably low, simply because in those days, it's almost impossible for one person to hunt. To defend, to look after himself, you know, it's it's very difficult, and I think that's why we are naturally drawn to each other. We naturally、um, become a part of a community or a society just to ensure we can survive, and that is the reason why homesickness itself is not pleasant. It has got to be unpleasant to ensure that at that time human beings. Would be drawn, would be pushed to stick to each other. What is very different now these days are we no longer live in a cave. There's no wildlife threat. Instead, what we're facing is you know opportunities everywhere and education、um, reasons. So we want to go to a different city, different places. Or we just have family live elsewhere, so we want to move there. There's so many reasons that driving people to relocate. Even you, you don't relocate. We constantly meet people we don't really know at work, in life, at school. It's really not the same in those days, cave days. That's how I call it. The million dollar question is that okay? So how can we cope? You probably have read、uh, many articles about. Keeping yourself busy, making sure you remain close contact with your family and friends at home, or scheduling a visit home every now and then. But in my view, I think the most effective cure to homesickness, unless you're certain that you will be returning back home soon, is to ensure that you will reintegrate into this new environment. So that means that、uh, if I take myself as an example, I come from a background, a culture where people rarely have cold food for lunch. 
In fact, people also rarely have cold food for dinner, for any meal. We probably only have cold food if we have like sushi, wasabi from Japanese restaurant. We don't really have cold food. So I remember when I first、um, arrived in England or during my first year in England, and I noticed a lot of people, especially professionals, they just grab a sandwich and then. Carry on with their work. They don't really spend that lot of time looking for hot food for lunch. I do find it quite interesting. And yes, at first my thoughts are, hmm, hot food is a lot tastier than cold food. But guess what?、Um, now, like I'm actually having this huge craving for sandwich. I found them quite handy and tasty, and they can also be healthy. So it's it's a personal example showing that how I adapt myself to this environment, and I I basically execute the meaning of being wrong, do as the Romans do, and I do think that phrase、uh, makes perfect sense, and it will only bring advantages to our life. So that's my personal example to share with you. Apart from that, I will personally recommend you to watch a film called The Best Exotic Marigold Hotel. If you haven't watched it, the film talks about several retirees from Britain who chose to leave the, leave their comfort zone and make a new life far away in India. And I remember very clearly that towards the end of the film, I was really moved. Seen an old lady on a motorbike. I think she accepted a ride. It was very moving and inspiring because、uh, usually you usually don't believe that、um, people of a certain age would accept changes. I think in that case, especially in that scene, it once tells people that we're all adaptable. We are all a lot. Flexible than we think. In my view, we can do a lot of things. I mean, we can certainly achieve much more than we think as long as we try. So that's the message I want to send to you, and I hope you find it helpful. And again, I hope you have enjoyed watching my videos. It would be great if you like my videos that you subscribe my channel. You will get notified when I make new videos. Again, I look forward to seeing to you again and stay safe and healthy. Bye.